Hey everyone, um, Happy New Year's, and it's 2011, so why am I happy it's 2011? Because the, all the bad drama and everything from 2010 is now magically gone? Now, it doesn't just disappear. And people, they say how you spend your new year is how you're gonna spend the next year. Well, that's not a good thing because I'm sick. Not how I'm gonna be spending my new year or how I am spending it. I'm spending my new year with my SpongeBob Lanky huddled up because it's cold and with some mint hot cocoa, which my whipped cream is melting. Well, that melted, is it? Oh. <laughs> Peppermint. Mm -hmm. I'm sick. Does this mean I'm going to spend the next year sick? I don't want to spend the next year sick. My hair is up like this because I have bed head. And I put makeup on so I don't look like death one over like I have for the past, I don't know, since Christmas. <coughs> no. This year is not going to be any different than last year. Everyone says, oh, the new year is going to be better than this year. The new year is going to be better than this year. It never is. Ever. Yes, I know, I'm negative Nancy right now, but, no, New Year is not going to get any better. I wish I could be excited about the New Year, but, okay, that's a little low. But you can't be excited for the New Year when you're sick. Nonetheless, I don't know if you guys knew, but I have no life. I spend the New Year with my grandmother. I'm not a partier. <laughs> no. So my new year basically consists of sitting around watching TV. So, what's your opinion on the new year? Are you excited for it? <laughs> are you excited for it? Or are you like me, negative Nancy? Oh, not the chocolate. <laughs> Why should I like the New Year? I spend it alone. Well, not alone, but I do nothing on New Year's. I have no life. I watch TV. Recently, watching Minute to Minute, which is fucking amazing. And I actually want to try and do that shit. <coughs> and I'm sick as a dog. All my friends are saying, huh? Oh, no, 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 this year's gonna have less drama, it's gonna be so much more fun. I call bullshit. In our group of friends, sorry, Rello Jamie, we're never gonna get out of drama. Drama loves us, and we know it. Everyone loves causing drama. So, this year's not gonna be any different than the past few years. Because every year, everyone says the same thing. And I am not doing no New Year's fucking resolution. Actually, you know what? Change my mind. My New Year's resolution is to drink a lot of Coca-Cola, to smoke my cigarettes, and be me. That's my way of saying, fuck New Year's resolutions. I never stick to them anyway. I remember before a teacher made me and my class have a New Year's resolution that we weren't going to eat candy. We were in third grade. Come on, it's candy and a little kid. I ate my candy. Thank you. And it's only for 45 days that you're supposed to keep up with the New Year's resolution. Now, I don't need to lose weight. Yes, I should quit smoking, but I'm not. And I am not cutting down Coca-Cola. Don't even think about that. So, actually, my New Year's resolution is not to be sick. <coughs> Which ain't gonna be. Which ain't gonna be happening anytime soon because I am sick as hell. So, yeah. <clears throat> I have no reason to be happy about the New Year's, but happy New Year's, everyone. And to me, fucked up New Year. So, actually, you know what? Have a happy fucked up New Year, everyone. Comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and favorite the video, and enjoy your drama filled fucked up new year's with your crazy new year's resolution that no one's ever 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 gonna stick to <laughs>
by people. So, bye, Blinky.